warm welcome on a Sunday evening, a bit later than anticipated, but uh, all ready to go right now. Hope you're keeping well. It's Peter with you, of course, on my channel, Peter Racing Tips. I've got three free bets for you, all on Bank Holiday Monday. I've got a six to one chance running over there in Ireland at Dan Patrick, uh, which I think will absolutely hose up. I'm very, very confident about it, and I'm going to go free of charge to you, not a penny piece for that one. And uh, I say around about six to one currently on the uh, odds checker. Uh, but that pales into insignificance about another horse at Dan Patrick that I'm going to give you because it's priced at 25 to one, 25 to one. And that runs a little bit later at Dan Patrick on Bank Holiday Monday. And I'll be giving you that in a moment or two as well. And not to be outdone, we're going to go to Ripon uh, back in the UK there in England, uh, up in Yorkshire for a horse Travelling right now at around 11 or 12 to 1. So three horses and uh, three big chances at big prices. 6 to 1, 12 to 1 and 25 to 1. And uh, I'll be giving you all those in a pretty double quick time uh, in just one moment. So keep your fingers on the pulse and ready to go. And uh, I'll be ready to go with you. thought it was a little bit unlucky today. I don't often talk about bad luck, but I thought we were. horse called Many a Star was the first to run and won. Uh, 5 to 1 into 11 to 4, doing the job. But uh, I did fancy it very, very strongly. Then El Zal finished uh, third at 10 to 1 each way. So that was all right. Then we had a bit of bad luck there then with a horse called Banana 3, an Irish horse that tipped you at the Nace and it ended up at 25 to 1. And the bookmakers were all paying first five and the horse finished like a rocket to finish in sixth place. Just got beat about a half a length into six, another stride or two, it would have been placed. So a little bit unlucky there with the old Irish, uh, but I don't anticipate any bad luck tomorrow, let me tell you that. The other horse today, there was two other horses by the way, and a lucky 31. Uh, one, I think there was one more, no more in the last. Uh, I think Skybet paid out on that one each way at six to one. So a bit of a muchness. Five to one winner into 11 to four. Could have been a lot better, but it uh, could have been worse as well. So we'll just put a, uh, I don't know, five out of 10 on that or something like that. But not good enough for what I want. But you can't sometimes have the rub of the green and having a little bit of bad luck on a couple of horses over the weekend, which could have been certainly uh, big, big payolas, but just hit the crossbar, and uh, that's how it goes. But over the period of August, it's been sensational. Stacks of free winners on this channel, um, some enormous price winners, uh, especially in Ireland. And so I've got two more Irish freebies to tell you about in just one second. We'll talk about something else in just one minute, a bank job, bank holiday that I've got primed. But first of all, I'm going to give you one of these three horses free of charge that are running on Bank Holiday Monday, which is August the 28th. Soon be out of August. It's been a very profitable month and into September, which is notoriously my most profitable month, actually. But last year, November and December were. But normally September is my number one month for profit. So there we go. So stay tuned in the next few days for some big lift off starts to next month. All right, let's uh, go straight to Ireland. Uh, let's uh, let's go do some tri time traveling. Let's go straight to Down Patrick. And the uh, first horse I'm going to talk to you about is a six to one chance. And then I'll come to the 25 to one chance that has never won a race. Never won a race. I think it's had 25 races and never won one. But uh, every dog has its day, or every door could have its day, and I think this one could pop up tomorrow at 25 to 1. More about that in a moment, but let's first of all go to the 240 at Dan Patrick, and there's a horse at number three. It's called Briga, Briga, B-R-E-A-G-A-G-H, and a very interesting horse indeed. He's got an apprentice or an amateur claiming seven on board who has ridden this horse in the past twice before when it's finished third and fifth. And I think this horse has got a, an outstanding chance tomorrow. I really do. Uh, was left with a lot to do last time up when ridden by Amy Jo Hayes. That was at Nace. Finished second of 18 runners. And uh, that was a very, very good performance. That was on the flat over a mile. Tomorrow, it jumps over the hurdles and is very well weighted indeed. There can be no doubt about that off a of marker 91. This horse is in form. It is ready to strike. And it's a big price around about six to one. I think bookies are paying... Some of them are paying first four, majority pay first three, but have a shop around for yourself. Don't miss it. It's a free bet. It's number three. It's called Briga, second at Nace of 18 runners with Amy Jo Hayes probably overcooking it a little bit and should have won. But uh, there we go. It goes back over the hurdles, ridden by Mr. Engolt, 
who claims seven pounds. And number three, Briga will do for me. And that's your first bet of the day at Dan Patrick on Bank Holiday Monday. As I say, I've got a 25 to 1 chance to talk to you next about which runs at Dan Patrick. And I'm, I'm pretty keen on it, to be honest with you. And I'm also keen on an 11 to 1 chance at the Ripon which I'm going to give you in just one second. However, I'm just moving a bit of paper over to tell you the very latest prices on four horses that I've primed and named and are at the bookies targets on their tills, of their cash registers. I've got two horses at Ballonrobe over in Ireland. They're both emerald bets, but they're both bank job bets. One of them is around about seven to one, and the other one is 10 to one. So big prices. Back either of them, you'll show a huge profit. Not to be outdone, I've also got a bet, I can tell you, in UK at Epsom and also at Chepstow. They are 9 to 1 and 10 to 1, pay 100 to 1 in a double. And of course, at Chepstow, a couple of weeks ago, I landed a huge each way touch on two horses. And I've got my card marked at Chepstow for one tomorrow around about 9 to 1. And the horse at Epsom, again, is about 10 to 1 or 11 to 1. So let me get to this serious point. There are four horses 7 to 1, 10 to 1, 9 to 1, and 11 to 1. All four I've called bank jobs. Two of them are emerald bank jobs, and the other two are whitewash bank jobs. We're on a bank holiday Monday, so we'll have a bit of fun with the bank job terms. But what I'm telling you is the straightforward terms are it's not £10 each for the four, it's four for £10. That's right, Kensitas, the four musketeers, whatever you want to call it, four for a tenner. And these two in Ireland at Ballonrobe, make no mistake, but a bit of bad luck over the weekend on two huge price horses. One was 25 to 1. They paid out on first six, finished seventh each way. Unbelievable. 28 to 1 it was, actually. And today's 25 to 1, finished six, and had to come in the first five. Previously to that, winner, 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 winner. And previously on this line, winner, 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 winner. The luck is about to run out for the bookies. On two horses at Ballonrobe, seven and tens, which pay about 70 to 1, 80 to 1, a double, the daily double at Ballon Road, and also at Chepstow and at Epsom, their luck is going to run out as well. If you have them in doubles, trebles, accumulator, or just, just pack them individually, you will show a wonderful profit. And as I say, I'm running out of August into September, my pro. Well, my most profitable month by a mile compared to November, December. But this August has been sensational. So I'm in the mood for dancing. I'm in the mood to really slap their bookies on their on their buttocks. Let's put, put it like that. So let's clean that up, isn't it? Anyway, 240 to Dan Patrick, number three, Bragger. Don't miss it. And it's very strong indeed. Four for a tenner. If you want those extra bets, all the rules down below. I know so many people are coming on board. You don't need me to tell you how to play anymore. You should know it. But all you do is pay the £10 to the bank listed below. My bank, me to you, you to me. I do not accept any payments, any other transfers ways. There's no PayPal. There's no payment schemes. There's nothing. That's what it is. One to one. You know me. I know you. So we do it properly through the bank. So you're all over 18 and we know where we stand. Right. So if you want them, you've got them. But to get the bet, you must email afterwards. Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com. Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com. Just quote bank, bank, and uh, we'll pick that up and send you the four bets back oh, almost immediately. Simple as that. Right, with all that in mind, shall we move on? I think we should. Where are we going to go to next? I said I was going down Patrick. I'm already at Dan Patrick for Briga. And uh, let's go again in the 455. And here's one for you. Now, you wouldn't find this one. I don't think many people find the big winners I pick anyway. But I doubt if they'll find this one. The horse is number seven on your card. It's called Monoxide. Monoxide. It's trained by Neil McCluskey over there in Ireland and got BP Kennedy on board claiming seven pounds. Now, this horse has got absolutely zilch form to recommend it. McCluskey's had two winners from 44 uh, outings as a trainer. The horses he sent out. And that's pretty good going because he hasn't got much to work with. But this horse... If it doesn't win tomorrow and it is a big one, it's 25 to 1, I'm not sure it's ever going to win. And that's saying a lot because I think it's got a, an outstanding chance at an outstanding price. It is 25 to 1 right now. Bookies are paying decent odds. I think they're paying first four, some of them as well, but generally first three. 
But I like the look of this one. It's absolutely in free fall in the weights. It's running off a mark of 76. It's come right down in the weights now. It's going over chases. Its last run uh, over the chase courses was over a mark of 82. And that was just this month. So it's been dropped six pounds by the assessor. And I think that's really, really generous. And although the horse has never struck gold, it's never been sighted, uh, I think it's ready. It's called Monoxide. It's number seven. There's no point in me going into uh, all about it and what's it been doing because it hasn't been doing nothing. It's a long-standing maiden and it's got no form to recommend it on paper. But paper can tell you one thing. When you look deep inside the form book, it can tell you another. This horse is ready. Its form figures are seven four, unseated rider seven five five. That is the phone number of the Down Patrick Hot Dog Man. So don't ring him, else you'll end up asking you one thing. Do you want mustard and onions? I personally would just have the onions, but I know people like the mustard as well. So if we're going to segue that, I'll say it's a very hot tip, this. Number seven, monoxide. You won't find it anywhere else. You wouldn't find it anywhere else, but I'm going to tip you here because it's absolutely thrown in at the weights if it can perform at all and have any luck in running. I think this could pop up at a huge price. It's got a young apprentice on Kennedy claiming seven to boot. It's almost riding bareback. Number seven, monoxide. Then each way, it's in the 455. That's the five to five race. 455 at Down Patrick. Monoxide in the 455 there to give you a real big bank holiday winner. Absolutely free of charge. So one more to give you to finish this uh, quite interesting message off. And it's at Ripon, and it goes in the 4.45 at Ripon up there in Yorkshire. So uh, these horses tomorrow, you might want to back them singly and have a little bit of a double and treble. I'll leave that with you. I'm sure you're over 18 and know what you're doing by now, hopefully. Uh, but that's what I would do. I'd have a little bit each way on all of them, and maybe, maybe a couple of doubles and trebles, or three doubles and trebles, of course. So I'll give you this last one now. Just let me reiterate once more, then I'll be back at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Let me reiterate one more. If you want these four bank jobs, I've called them bank jobs because the Bank Holiday Monday big jobs, handicap jobs. They're all in handicaps. Nine to one, 11 to one, seven to one and 10 to one. The two Irish bets just hit the crossbar the last two days, but huge prices, 25 to one and 28 to one. You don't need to be Einstein. You've only got to hit one in 20 to show a huge profit. I've hit about seven in 20. So we're miles in front. But now we're going to go for the jugular. Tomorrow with a big bank job double at Ballinrobe. That sounds good, doesn't it? A big bank job in Ballinrobe. Double. Do you want them? The four horses for just £10. That's £2.50 a horse. You can't buy a cup of tea. You can't buy certainly a cup of coffee. And you're looking at about a glass of water for that. So if you want to win some money, here's a big chance on a bank holiday to get made up. The accumulator comes to a mint. Your chance. Your call. It's just 10 quid. That's it. All right. So if you want it, stay bright, get on and uh, don't even think about thinking, oh, what if they don't win? Well, if they don't win, they don't win. That's the way it is, isn't it? That is the way the cookie crumbles. We're all doing our best. I'm doing our best. Everything is all about can we win? And I'm doing all I can for you. It's been a fantastic August. Not every bet can win, but they don't have to, as I've told you many times. Like today, I'm picking a 6 to 1, 11 to 1, and 25 to 1. The average price is about 14 to 1, 12, 14 to 1. You know, they are big reward prices. They're not short, skinny favourites. Right, number eight, Coconut Bay. There's one for your bounty bar. I love a bounty bar. 4.55 at Ripon. It's called Coconut Bay. It's number eight. It's trained by Tristan Davidson and ridden by Callum Rodriguez. What a double act. Tristan Davidson and Callum Rodriguez. Well, Davidson's a really shrewd operator. And he's got this horse well handicapped off a mark of 5 50. She is a filly. She's a lovely filly. She's had a breathing operation. And she come back last time out after being off the track for two months. And she needed the run at Newcastle, ridden by PJ McDonald. She, I don't think she needs the run now. From what I'm hearing, she's really spot on. She's a younger horse, four-year-olds filly, against older horses, which is always beneficial. They always carry weight, that does, always. It's just one, one of those things how it works out. The younger progressive types against the older established exposed types. So number eight, Coconut Bay for Tristan Davidson. I think he used to be Dr. Who, didn't he? Or was that Peter Davidson? I think it was Peter Davidson, wasn't it? But he's had seven winners from 57 runners. What a, what a stat that is, 12%. Tristan Davidson. So uh, no need to uh, think that he isn't Dr. Who. 
He's pretty magical in his approach, that's for sure. So I'm going to go for him. Number eight, Coconut Bay, each way to land the spoils there in the 4.45 at Ripon. And uh, that'll do me. Coconut Bay, 4.45 Ripon. Brigar in the 2.40 at Dan Patrick. Love that one. And Monoxide to provide the shock of the day all over the country in the 4.55 and win a race after whew, so many tries. But there you go. It can happen. And it may well happen tomorrow. And I'm backing him each way because even if he's in the frame, you'll win plenty. That's it. Apart from the four horses of the apocalypse, the four horses, they're all ready for you down below. There they go. Four horses to win the jackpot prize. Can we do it? You know, something. I think so.